to talk to you today about late winter stress on mature bucks. I'm here in deep south Texas. You can see the habitat behind me is very stressed, very dry. I'm fixing to crawl over into a feed pen exclosure. The fence is up to keep cattle, javelinas, hogs, you know, non-target species out. Look here in front of me is a shed antler from a mature buck. As these deer jump in to come to the supplemental feeding that's offered, they drop their antlers. When he jumps over, the vibration falls, he knocks off. He comes over here to the feed pen, he's eating, eating the protein pellets, and the other antler falls off. And so offering supplemental feeding during severe stress periods is very, very important. These animals have to rebuild their body as fast as they can before they can start growing the, the following year's antlers. I want to show you this right here. On a ranch that's very well managed with, with a good age structure and a tight sex ratio, they tend to have a lot of antler damage, and such as this. This is a good quality mature buck. His G3 is about 11 and a half, 12 inches long, good brow tines. He was a big five point. Here's his other side, big, heavy, a little bit of non-typical. This is a great deer, but look at all the antler breakage. So he, he, he's not too pretty right now. He doesn't score a whole lot, but this is a high quality buck that we do want breeding. And because of his mass, we know he's probably got a lot of age, so we're offering protein feed to him year-round, all he wants. We need to recover his body as fast as we can so he can start growing antlers. But back to the damage, this is not necessarily a bad thing. To fix this, if you have too much antler damage on your ranch, if you want to fix it, you either need to shoot more bucks or allow more does in a population to make a little bit wider sex ratio. This ranch here doesn't mind having these good quality bucks broke up because they're not going to harvest this type of buck anyway. He's out there for breeding purposes. And if you like a buck, don't shoot him. That's the way they spread their genetics, they get older, get better, and then introduce his genetics into the population. For Whitetail Domains, I'm Macy Ledbetter.